left over. You can use, you can ax it, but normally you're going to want to use a chainsaw to do that. And then I've got a limb. Now one of these babies will lock you in your house for a week until you get someone over to cut it. So uh, that's why I bought something this size. When you're cutting, preferably you want two things to happen. You want it to be really stable, and you want to not hit the ground. And the not hitting the ground is, is a safety thing, but it's also because it doles your chain really quick. Let's see, I gotta do this in you all can see. So when I cut, I get my wood in the position that I want, making sure my body's safe out of the way. And so I'm going to make a cut right here. Now when this goes down, if I cut all the way through at a certain point, this wood's going to pinch my blade. I'm going to get it stuck in there. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to cut from the bottom first and then cut all the way through. Does that make sense? So it won't bind on the bottom. So it won't bind. I could do it because this isn't that big. Mm -hmm. but. If you don't get into that habit, then you'll start doing that with bigger pieces, and then you're also going to be stuck in a giant piece of wood, and you have to get someone over there and be embarrassing. So here there's a little, uh, not all saws have this. This is really another handy thing. This has a uh, little pump for your gas, so it's going to prime your pump. Six, seven, eight, nine, six to ten times or until there's sufficient pressure. What I mean by sufficient is you'll just feel it really be there. I have my foot shoved into the base of the saw. <laughs> so when I start this puppy, it can't go anywhere because I have my weight on it. And when I pull the chain, I'm going to pull across my body. I'm not pulling up. I'm not pulling like that, I'm pulling across. Because there's the most distance and the most ease in that motion. So if you have an older saw that doesn't have an easy start, that's really important to get that motion. Especially as a woman, for whatever reason. Okay, I'm going to put on my goggles. Really. Ear hitches. Okay, so I've already primed it. I have to pull the trigger and push this all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to pull it until it makes a boom sound. That sound. Did you hear that? It made it sound like the engine was starting to turn over. So then I'm going to move it up one more. here. It's a safety thing. That means that you really want to start it. I'm going to push the switch all the way down to the bottom. All saws are slightly different, but it's all the same concept. You're going to start it once with the choke on. And pull it till it makes that lovely sound. It's going to do right away now. Now pull it up to the next spot, which is half choke. It's going to start right away.
really important. Is there a methodology if that were a long tree and you couldn't roll it over? Or is there what? If it were a tree and you couldn't roll it over, is that there a method what I was to just gonna getting... ask too. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. yeah, so what I do in that case is cut, 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 cut. Down here, you need to get really close to the end until you can hit it with your foot or break it through. And then generally there's going to be some sort of curve, like this one, where it's going to be up off the ground enough that you're going to be cut almost all the way through. Um, and if it's a really big tree, like I was bucking up this, this tree that was this big, like this saw. It's, it's a round thing, so you can just cut all the way around on this edge. And it just took some time. Because it was too big for me to move, right? It's a huge oak. So just take some time to finally get through there. And then you just have to be real careful once you get towards the ground. If you hit the dirt, it's not the end of the world. It just means your chain's going to go dull quicker. That's all. And if you hit a rock, then that's also dangerous because it can spark if it's the summertime. And then it will just, you can feel it, you know? So. The last thing I guess I oh, we need to split that is I, I want you guys to feel the weight of this saw. Like I said, like a mid-level saw, there's other like saws that are heavier, there's saws that are lighter. It's a 16 inch. Isn't it? It's a 16 inch. Yeah, and the 16 inch is what he's referring to as the bar length. So the bar length is changeable. I could put a 14 inch or even a 12 inch bar on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>